Hello boys and girls and welcome back for another writing lesson with Miss Kim. Uh, we're still going to be working on opinion writing. Um, thank you for submitting your work. Um, you should have already um, done two opinion writing. So this is our third opinion writing that you're going to be um, doing, okay? And so let's do a quick review opinion writing. So remember, opinion writing consists of these things. First, you need to provide your opinion. You're telling um, the readers and the audience what you feel about the topic, okay? So opinions, um, opinions is not, um, it's not um, based on a fact, it's based on in each on each individual's uh, feelings or beliefs, okay? So my opinion can be different from your opinion, okay? Next, you need to provide your reasons. Why do you feel um, about a about certain topic? Why do you feel that way? Why do you believe that way? So you need to provide reasons to why you support your opinion, okay? Now last is um, when you're writing, you need to not only provide your reason, once you provide your reason, you need to give examples and details that support your reasoning, okay? So this is the part that I want us to really focus on is that you need to actually find facts to support your opinion, okay? So, um, so this is very important. You do need some facts to help you um, come to help you support what you feel, okay? Lastly, on the bottom, your last sentence, which is your concluding sentence, you're gonna say your opinion again, okay? So um, these are the different topics that we are going to be going over in our opinion writing. So, so far, we've done, um, we did this topic, which holiday is the most fun to celebrate? Um, I noticed some people said, said that Easter is their uh, favorite holiday. I said Christmas is my favorite holiday. You know, another student said Christmas is their favorite holiday too. It's the most fun holiday to celebrate. Um, today, I'm going to do the topic on should students have recess every day, okay? This is what I'm going to be doing to help you write an opinion writing. But you can pick your own topic. So these are some questions you can do. You can do opinion writing. Do cats or dogs make better pets? Should students get paid for good grades? Should students be allowed to grade their teacher? Oh, okay, I wouldn't want you to grade me. Okay, should students get to choose their teacher? Would you pick a different teacher? Who is the best athlete? Um, who is the most popular singer or actor? Should students have three day weekends every week instead of two day weekend, okay? What rule that grown ups make you follow do you think should be eliminated? So what are some rules that adults have that um, we shouldn't uh, follow? For example, if, you're, if in your house the rule is or your mom, um, your mom tells you to clean your room every day, do you want that rule to be eliminated, okay? Which season's more fun, summer or winter, okay? Should children be allowed to ground their parents? Oh, okay, this will be very interesting. But I'm going to be doing, should students have recess every day, okay? All right, so what we're gonna first do, we always, for our first draft, we always, do hamburger writing, okay, to help us organize our thoughts, okay? So on Seesaw, you're gonna do it again. You're gonna get an opinion writing graphic organizer. So the first thing it says is state your opinion, okay? So the question is, should students have recess every day? So your opinion can be, no, students should not have recess every day, or yes, students, students should have recess every day. So, Miss Kim, so the first thing you remember you're going to write is, in my opinion, comma, or you're going to say, I think, okay? So, choose. Which one do you want to start, in my opinion or I think, okay? I'm going to start off 
thing in my opinion, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna write, okay, in my opinion, so what does Miss Kim think? In my opinion, students should have recess every day. I think that students should have recess every day, okay? So that is my opinion, okay? So you can agree or disagree, okay? But I am pretty positive that everyone agrees that students should have recess every day. Okay, so now I'm gonna write first reason, okay? So remember, boys and girls, I noticed that some of you are not capitalizing the first letter of the sentence, capital F, that's the first letter of the sentence, and transition word. Transition word, you're using first, and then you for, some of you forgot to put comma. Okay, first, students need a break from work, okay? You're working all day, you're doing math, reading, writing, um, science, social studies, you're okay, you need a break, okay? So, I'm gonna think of a fact, something that's true to support why students should have a break from work, okay? I know that by going outside and playing, they can get more energy to do more work, okay? It's true, when you're um, going outside, you're running, you're jumping, you're um, doing jump ropes, you're playing, you're interacting with other students, you're getting more energy, okay? Um, that's why it's important for uh, people to walk around, to get up, not sitting down and watching TV all day. It's not um, good for our body, okay? All right, so that's a fact, okay? Okay, I'm gonna do my second reason. Next, okay, see again, I'm capitalizing the first letter of my transition word and I'm gonna put a comma. Next, it is healthy for students to get exercise, okay? This is a fact. I'm supporting, I'm using a fact to support my opinion. We need exercise, it is healthy. Um, so I'm gonna support this with more facts, so I'm adding more details. I'm not just writing one sentence, I'm adding another sentence. They need to run so that their bodies get stronger, okay? Okay, when you run, you're, you're feeling more energy and your heart is beating, it's, you're getting healthier and, and um, this is, exercise is good for your heart, it's good for your lung, it's good for your whole body, okay? Okay, so I'm supporting my reasoning with facts. Okay, my last transition word is lastly, students need to be out in the sun so they can get vitamin D, okay? This is a fact. You need to go outside and you need sunlight, you need sun to get vitamin D, okay? Now I'm gonna support that more by writing more fact. I'm gonna say vitamin D. So Miss Kim researched about vitamin D. What is vitamin D, okay? So I got more facts about it to help me write a better a stronger opinion writing. So vitamin D helps our body, um, such as, helps our body, such as getting strong and healthy bones, okay? So helps our body, so I'm gonna write, helps our body, such as getting strong and um, healthy bones, okay? Okay, now I'm going to write my last, my concluding sentence. And remember, for our concluding sentence, you need to write the transition word. I'm gonna write it here. In, you're gonna write in conclusion, okay? Or you can say to summarize, or you can say as you can see, okay? I'm gonna use in conclusion, okay?
in conclusion, comma, I think, so I'm not using in my opinion, I'm using I think, I think students should have recess every day. Okay, so my concluding sentence is same as my, um, my top bun, what I wrote in the top bun, my opinion, when I state my opinion, I'm just restating it, okay? All right, once you're done, once you check your um, work, make sure you capitalize the first letter of the sentence, make sure you have space between words, make sure you're putting comma, transition words, adding punctuation. After you do all of that and make sure you have lots of details and facts to support your opinion, then you're going to write it on a paper all at once, okay? Look at what Miss Kim did, okay? Now remember, when you're writing, um, when you're writing, remember when you, your first paragraph, you need to have space right here, okay? Which is called, um, which is called um, indent, indenting, okay? You're indenting, you're indenting the first part, so there's space right there, so you need to indent, okay? Then you need to write, right here, the first sentence, and then make sure you fill it. And then look at, I'm putting my period, I'm putting my comma, okay, I'm writing all of my sentences together in one whole paragraph, okay? So you're gonna indent, okay? Make sure you indent, okay? All right, so then you're gonna check your word, this is your final draft, and then you're gonna submit your work on Seesaw, okay? All right, have fun. Bye, boys and girls.